Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. Okay, right there's our queen. You can see our queen right there. And what I want to talk about is if you want to put these in storage and store them for a, a good while until you need them, one of the best things that you can do, in my opinion, is these little two framers right here. Now let me get her back in the hive. Okay, I got her back in the hive. I didn't want to mess around with her because I was trying to film with one hand and didn't want to bump her. So I put it on pause, got her back in the, the two framer. Uh, what I'm going to do, this frame right here, this, this hive is packed out really heavy for a two framer. It's, it's a lot of bees in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to take this frame right here that has some young larvae. It's got some day old eggs that I've already checked all the way up to cap brood. And this little two framer right here, it failed to make a queen. It was one of those that it never did get a queen uh, introduced back to it. So they tried to make their own queen and, and that they failed doing it. So what I'm going to do is either get them another queen by doing this moving this over it's going to increase their population a little bit i'll take out that uh, starter strip frame there and just now they can i can either do one of two things there i can let them make their own queen or i can go ahead and introduce a queen and uh that's the good thing about these two framers that i can't talk uh, enough about so I went ahead and moved that one frame over to that other little colony right there a lot of cat brood and some like I said young eggs from young from day old egg all the way up to cat brood give them a chance to make some queen cells see what happens make them a queen now this right here what it did it reduced the number and it a little bit but these things will amaze you. They're not swarmy like you think they would be. They, you can put a queen in here, and if you want to keep her for, if you have an extra queen, every beekeeper should have at least 10 of these, or at least five if you only have a couple of hives. These things are, are they're, I can't speak enough about them because it takes so few bees, and you can store queens in here and you could do it over winter. The success rate is not as great because they are such a small colony. Uh, what we end up getting is about 50%. If we overwinter 20 of these, about 10 of them. Here in North Georgia, about 10 of them will make it. <clears throat> but that's not a whole lot of bees being invested in it. You know, they're not packed out like this one is right now going through the winter. But you may try a few, you know, your, your odds are better to step up to a five frame nuke, you know, depending on where you're at in the country. You know, you may have to, and all the way from a 10 frame to a, a 10 frame with a super or double super, you know, it just depends. It's, it's different. It's different all over the country in colder climates for sure. So, but here in North, North Georgia, we have a huge advantage and we take advantage of it. But anyway, these things, if you have a colony that has too many bees in it. It's so easy just to pull a frame out and stick it in here and put a starter strip frame beside it. And you know, either if you do any grafting or have virgin queens, introduce you a virgin queen or a queen cell. Or if you have, like I said, if you have an extra queen that you just can't, you don't have anything to, to use it for at the time, introduce it into this. You could keep it in there for, uh, this one right here has not been split, I promise you, in two months. It started off very tiny, and it, it built up, and as you can see, it's, it's absolutely packed out with bees, and it's not swarmed. So they're not as swarmy as what you think. Yes, they will swarm and can, but you would be amazed just how long that you can keep a queen in here indefinitely for... A long time perfect perfect queen storage unit right there and like I said you uh, raise your own Queens 
you have four or five of these, you always have a queen to pick for, uh, to use because every beekeeper is going to need queens. You're going to have uh, colonies that swarm on you and you lose your queen. They don't, they fail to make a queen. They're just uh, doing splits. There's just so many things that you'll need a queen for. So build you a few of these. We got the plans. You can build them. Uh, we got them at the store, barnyardbees.com, if you don't want to build them. But we do give people the idea to, to build them if you want to. You know, we got the plans, and I'll put the plans up there. But if you're uh, one of those that's like a lot of working people, just don't have time to do it, well, we got them there at the store. They're, they come in a three-piece. You know, they'll have a, a bottom. They're, they're built more like a, a standard 10-frame or 8-frame. It's got a bottom board. It's got a high body. It's got a lid. And uh, they're so, so easy to use and uh but you can make these out of uh plywood we use advantech you don't have to have advantech just paint it really good uh, some you don't have to use marine plywood or anything like that you could some people will even use a uh, particle board just plain old simple particle board and it'll last for a while it'll last for a few years but keep it painted and it'll do good for you so it's just a little little tip from Barnyard Bees today. I just wanted to put that out. This has been on my mind about I wish more beekeepers kept these things. They're just amazing. And I just can't say enough about them. So anyway, don't forget, folks, we got 2021 packages on sale. Get yours now if you want them for uh, early next spring. The earlier you get them, uh, nukes, beekeeping supplies, barnyardbees.com. And don't forget, folks, please help share our videos. Please pass them along. Share them on Facebook. Uh, wherever uh, check out our TikTok channel we have a TikTok channel now it's pretty pretty fun uh, go there and check it out I'll put a link in the description and don't forget like and subscribe thanks for watching Barnard Bees